2018, I had uh, two people banging on my door, finally answered and was told that um, they had paid the taxes on my house and that I was going to be evicted. Sandy came to our walk-in clinic seeking help with her home. She was being threatened with eviction from her home because of a tax issue. I bought the house in 1977. I didn't want to lose my home. The mortgage had been paid. If you own a home in Nebraska, you have to pay property taxes on it. And ordinarily, if the taxes don't get paid, those taxes can be sold to an investor. After three years, after they've been sold, the investor can start the process of foreclosing on the home. Basically, if they have a $500 tax debt, that's what it starts as, it can balloon after three years with interests and more further taxes paid by the investor into thousands of dollars. I had never been to court before. It was very intimidating. But Caitlin was by my side and answered the questions. She spoke up to the other side. At Legal Aid of Nebraska, we ensure that everybody has access to equal justice, regardless of their ability to pay for a lawyer or not. I came to work at Legal Aid um, after a stint in private practice. We can really push the limits of the law to protect the most vulnerable, and that's an opportunity that you don't get really in private practice. It's been five years, like, somehow. This process has taken that long from when we filed it in district court to when we got past the motions to dismiss to when we finally had a trial on it. I'm just flabbergasted that it's taken this long to, to get where we are at today, and, and the fight's not over yet. So we have been able to make sure that Sandy has been able to keep her home for the last five years. That is a really great outcome for her, and because of the results with the United States Supreme Court, there's a good chance that she's going to be able to keep it into the future. Legal Aid has hung in there with me and fought for me, so I, I'm not as fearful as I was. I would definitely recommend Legal Aid. I don't know where, where I would be if they hadn't been available. There's many fights still ahead. The fight to help Sandy Naveen keep her home is still ongoing and we're in it for the long haul. This road is long, there's more fights in the future and we need the help to be able to keep doing this work.